Today's video, I'm going to show you how I do a inspection every 2,000 miles on my wheels and wheel bearings and axle on my camper. Okay, so the first thing that I always do is always get underneath the trailer. My trailer now has a torsion axle. So what I want to do is I want to take a wrench and put it on the bolts that actually bolts the axle to the frame. And I just want to pull and push on the wrench and make sure that all the bolts on the axle are tight and nothing is loose. If you have U-bolts and leaf springs, you want to go through and check all of your spring hanger bolts and also your nuts on all your U-bolts. Okay, the next step is to jack the trailer up so that the wheel is off of the ground. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wheel and I'm going to try to move it from side to side. And I'm going to do this in several different places. But what I'm looking for here is to make sure that the wheel is not loose. Okay, now the next thing I like to do while I've got the wheel jacked up off the ground is I want to spin it and make sure it spins freely. I'm listening for snaps, crackles, and pops. And also, there is a slight growling noise as I turn the wheel. That is the brake pads or the brake shoes and the magnets rubbing the drum, which is normal if the brakes are adjusted correctly. Okay, the next thing I like to do is to give the wheel bearings a little bit of grease. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a putty knife and we're gonna use it to take the cover off. The next thing we're gonna do is use a flat tip screwdriver and we're gonna use it to work the rubber dust cover off or the inside bearing cover. Now, grease fitting in there, what we want to do is we want to put our grease gun on the fitting, and I generally give mine four pumps of grease. Take the grease gun back off. Replace the rubber dust cover. Put the chrome cap back on and we're done. The next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to check the tire inflation pressure. It's always a good idea to look on the sidewall of the tire for what the manufacturer's recommended pressure is. On this tire, it is 50 PSI, so we will go ahead and we will fill it up to 50 PSI. Now, one other thing that I like to do is while I've got the tire off the ground and I can spin it, I like to look in the tread area of the tire and make sure there's no nails or screws or objects in it that are stuck in it that I picked up along the road. The other thing is when I grease my bearings, every 2,000 miles, I only put about four pumps of grease in them. And then what I do every 10 to 12,000 miles is I actually pull the tires off and I pull the hubs off, take the bearings out, clean them, and repack them, and put it all back together. Now, I showed you on one tire, if you've got four, if you've got two, if you've got six, just repeat it for each tire that you have. Most of the new Dexter and the LCI axles have this, this grease fitting in there that you can, you can do this to. I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.